bless you young people of faith. I'm so glad to be here on this beautiful Wednesday morning. I just come to spread a word of the Lord that the Lord gave me while I was in prayer on today. God told me to come and tell you to stop complaining and endure it to the end. So I want to go to Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and we're going to go to verse 11. And the Bible says, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happens unto them all. That means no matter what this, your situation may be, no matter what you may be going through, no reason to complain because time and chance happen to, them, to people all. The severance, the severance of this present time are not waiting to be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us. So let's not worry about the trials. Let's not worry about the tribulations because the Bible says in Romans that we glory in tribulations because tribulations work with patience and patience work with experience and experience work with hope and hope make it not a shame for the love of God is a spread abroad in our hearts toward us through the Holy Ghost which has been given unto us so let's be grateful for the trials the trials are going to make us and build us so God told me to tell you to stop complaining and endure till the end second thing that God gave me we go to Matthew chapter 10 verse 22 and the Bible says and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake so I know that you know the Bible says that the you know many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivered them out of all of their troubles the Bible says that we are suffering that this is a suffering way so we're going to go through people talking about us and laughing at us and making fun of us because we stand up for what we believe in but the bible says in matthew 5 and 16 let your light so shine before men that they may see our good works your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven don't be afraid of what it is that that people are going to say about you don't be afraid of what it is the crowd is going to say if god told you to go say something then you go say it if god told you to do something then you go do it you are a vessel in the hands of god be a tool in the hands of god you're going to be talked about anyway so why not just be talked about doing the will of God. All right, let's stop complaining about people talking about us. Jesus had to go through those things, but did he fret himself? Did he give up? No, he took the hardest job of anyone, of any mankind, and that was to lay his life down for our burdens, to be crucified and talked about, to be mocked and ridiculed. So if he can go through it, then if our Savior can go through it, and he sat down on the right-hand throne of God, if he's right there, then we can go through it, and we can endure to the end, so we shall be saved. The second part of that scripture in Matthew 10 and 22 says, but he that endured to the end shall be save that means no matter what you go through you got to endure the waste is not given to the swift you got you can't be quick in this race the quick ones is always going to be the ones that the devil is going to try to come after because why you're trying to be faster you can't move ahead of god's pace the strong ones you can't be strong if you're strong it's going to make you a bigger target the enemy's going to constantly knock at you because you're trying to depend on your own strength and god is saying come unto me all you that labor and are heavy laden i will give you rest he's trying to bless you he's trying to help you but you're trying to depend on your own situation yesterday i was i was talking to my my friends and, and God began to speak through them to me because I, I, I pride myself in trying to be the man of God and, and be the man of God that God has called for me to be. And, and I was trying to fix situations. I was I was praying to God for things to happen and I was trying to go and help God do things. And God told me he don't need my help. Sometimes you got to pull your hands off the situation and let God be God. Stop worrying about those people that's talking about you. Stop worrying about that friend that is turning his back on you. Stop complaining and thanks God. And everything gives thanks is what the Bible says. Stop complaining and endure to the end. You shall be saved. Look at Romans chapter 8, verse 18. The Bible says, For the servants of this present time are not a word to be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us. If that don't light you up in your spirit, y'all, I promise you, it lights me up. So I know God is good. He said if you suffer and you just understand that the sufferings that you may face right now, he said you shall be, oh God, hallelujah, your crown is going to be way more glorious than what it is that you may be going through. That's going to outweigh the good outweighs the bad. So you, I won't complain. I love that song, God, because no matter what I may go through, no matter my my trials and tribulations i won't complain stop complaining and praise god stop complaining and praise him anyhow i preached that before praise him anyhow stop complaining and endure to the end god has a reward for you he says blessed is the man that endured temptation to the end for he shall receive the crown of life which the lord has promised to them that love him he loves you he wants to give you a crown he wants to give you his heavenly reward but it takes for you to endure to the end it takes for you to have a made-up mind that the race is not easy neither is the race harder but it's going to be tough sometimes sometimes you're going to have those hard days and sometimes you're gonna have those days where it's like it feels like it's peaches and cream and as a child of God it's like if you want those peaches and cream and you want those days of ease then you are on a true child of God you ought to want those trials you ought to want to be better than God you ought to want to go to another level there's always another level to go to another level of ministry another level of prayer another level of studying your Bible another level a level of seeking God wants to take you to great places but you have to be willing to say Lord I want you more than I want my own self I want you more than I want my own desires the Bible says in the New Testament 
Testament that if you suffer with Jesus, so shall you be glorified just as Jesus is glorified. So if you suffer at this present time, God will bless you in heaven. He'll bless you with a heavenly home. You might not have everything down here. You might not have a mansion, at least down here. You might not have a billion dollars. You might not have your dream car, but you got God on your side. Stop complaining and endure to the end. God is calling you, young people. Young people of faith, God is calling you. He's calling you to have faith. He's calling you to speed the generation that will seek the Lord. There is still a generation that will please the Lord. I was in prayer and God spoke to me. He told me that there is still a generation that shall take a stand. You have to take a stand. God, God is depending on you. He, he's, he's trusting you. He's depending that you will carry out the mission of the gospel, that you will go out to the highways and, and byways and compel men and women to come. Stop complaining. You're so busy complaining and crowding your mind with everything that's going on, the trials that God has given you, the temptation that the devil is sending your way. Stand up in victory, but Thanks be to God who giveth us the victory through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 15 and 57. Stand in the victory that God has called you to stand in. Understand that for the wages of sin is death, but you are no longer in sin once you have been converted to righteousness. But the gift of God is what? Eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Be happy for the gift that God has given you. Be grateful for what God has bestowed and given unto you. Be happy. Stop complaining and endure to the end. I come to tell you, young people, that there is still a generation that shall please the Lord. Be a part of that generation. God is calling you. This is Brother Jordan Shaw. God bless you.